Hello, for this new tutorial I'm going to show you how to save and load actors across uh, level streaming and multiple levels. So first, let's open the Windows levels and these Windows, uh, these levels um, show you the structure of the level streaming. So in this case I, I only have one level, um, the persistent level. So for using level streaming, I'm going to create a new map. I'm going to create a folder, call it maps, and inside here I'm going to create a new folder called it level streaming, and another folder for the multiple levels. So inside level streaming, I want to create a map here and sub maps, sub levels. So for doing that, I'm going to copy this map I have right now to for not creating a map from zero, so copy and uh, the same thing for the multiple levels copy so if I go to the level streaming I'm going to load this map uh, I need to load the map to in order to save it I'm going to click OK and now I'm going to save this map so now I can change the name I'm going to call it uh, root map, root level so and now the, as I'm using level streaming here I need to create sub levels um, by the way this build map uh, I'm, uh, there is some issues when I or some problems when I copy and paste uh, levels and I'm going to make the same thing with the multiple levels in order to change the name and this map uh, build data registry um, I'm not going to fix the problem now uh, it's not recommended to copy and paste levels but in this case I'm doing it. I'm doing it for for making things more more fast so uh, right now I have a root level in the level streaming uh, and I need to create a sub level so I'm going to my level windows and create new and inside my level streaming I'm going to create new sub levels so I'm going to call it sub level 01 and I'm going to create a new sub level sub level 02 so now you see that I have sub levels uh, in this root level so this root level now is the main level that has so two sub levels and each of these sub level uh, works kind of like a level but uh, as you see there is nothing in there so I'm going to select this option only in current level so I can only see the actors that belong to the level that I select so if I click in sub level I only see the actors that are in, in this level so in the persistent level I have all these actors and in this case I want to move this simple spawner in another level I'm going to select the sub level and move the simple spawner inside the sub level 01 so now it belongs to the sub level 01. I want to make something similar with the sub level 02, but in this case, I'm going to add new actors. So now that the sub level 02 is selected, I'm going to place new actors in the world. And you see that these actors are now, are, belong now for, to the sub level 02. So I'm going to make copies. And so now I have a sub level. 01 with a simple spawner and a sub level 02 with some cubes. So if I play now, you see that uh, the cubes and the spawner are not there, and this is because these sub level are not loaded. So I'm going to load, I always load it and click play, and you see that are the actors are loaded now. I'm going to delete my save file, and if I click play and I push these actors, save. I load and it's working and it's working if I close the game too so now I'm going to test it I'm going to unload this level so now that the level is unloaded uh, the actors should not be being saved as you see here the actors are not there uh, now if I save my game now I'm going to save uh, the state from the sub level 02 should be should remain should not be deleted so I'm going to load this sub level and if I click play 
and you see the state is being there even if I even that if I save the, the actors so I'm going to test it with the sub level 01 now and you see in the sub level 01 I have some BP spawners so I'm going to unload now um, well these actors are being spawned even if the sub level 01 is unloaded um, the reason why this happens because this actor should not be uh, loaded because the sub they're supposed they belong to the sub level zero one and this is because uh, we need to tell that these actors that are being spawned these actors belong to to one level so for that when I spawn new cubes I need to tell these cubes that they belong to the level zero sub level zero one so I'm going to say that the owner is this simple spawner and because the simple spawner belongs to this level sub level zero one these cubes will now belong to the level zero one so uh, right now it should work if I click play now well I'm going to delete the save file first I'm going to test it again I'm going to load the sub level zero one play spawn and save load and it's working now if I unload my level um, the actors are not being loaded so at this point it's working nice so I'm going to save the file and the sub level now uh, should be should be remain even if I save my game I'm going to load the map I know, I'm going to load the maps again and now it's working so as you see um, the state of the sub levels are um, are persistent even if i load or unload the levels and uh, it's working nice so i'm going to test it now with the multiple levels so for that i don't need this uh, window so i'm going to move move it and uh, for the sub multiple levels i'm going to create uh, two additional levels i'm going to save these new levels so now I have uh, level 01, level 02 and level 03 and um, I'm going to load the level 01 and now I'm going to make some changes here I'm going to create three doors and I'm going to create three doors in the level 02 and three doors in the level zero three. I should make this before. So I'm going to move this location so it always open um, from dome to all. So it always open vertically. So. Now I need some functions to to change the map. So I'm going to my level bl blueprint, and inside here I'm going to create a, an event when I press N. And when I press N, I want to change my my level. So I'm going to open level to call the open level function. And for the level 01, I want to change it to the level 02. Uh, I'm going to create a in, in begin play a print here so I know in what level I am. I'm going to change the color and print level 0, level 01 in this case. And the duration will be 5. I'm going to copy this functionality now. <clears throat> so in level 02 I'm going to make something similar I'm going to change the name and, ch and open the level 03 and for the level 03 I want to open the level 01 so now if I test it I'm going to play 
and press N. Uh, well, this is a crash. You know, this is a hang out because uh, uh, I copy and paste the levels. It's not because of the plugin. It's because uh, this. Uh, it's not recommended to copy and paste levels, and it's happening because of that. So. Mm, well, this is a hangout that only happens the first time, so I'm going to test it, and you see it's working. I'm I'm changing the level now, level one, two, and three, and it's working. So now I'm going to make some changes to the level zero one. In binary, I'm going to say zero zero one, and save. For the level zero two, I'm going to write in binary zero zero one zero and for the level 03, 011 and save. So now if I load the first level you see the changes are, are remain. So it's working. So I'm going to wrap up the video now and let's continue in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.